guys, so today I'm going to be talking about how to save your overwatered succulents. Now, I know none of us are perfect, so eventually it's going to happen, especially with succulents. You're just going to add a little bit too much water one time or forget how often it was that you watered and just add an extra little watering. So I totally get it. It does happen. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can save your succulents after you've overwatered. So to start off, I found this little succulent at a store. Uh, I picked up specifically for this video and I found a little bit of water damage here so I can show that to you in this video. Now, uh, everyone will kind of have different levels of where their succulent is at depending on how long it has been with too much water. So some of them will be not very overwatered, just a little, and some of them will be very overwatered and possibly not able, able to salvage. But I'll talk a bit about the different levels and depending on what level your succulent is at, what you should do to help save your succulent. So let's get going. To start off, I want to First, remove the plant from its pot. Now, this will help us to assess the root system. We need to see how much of it is still good and how much of it is damaged, as well as we're going to wash away some of the soil from the roots. Get all of the soil out of the root system. Sometimes you may need to wash it out, as I'm doing here, but other times you can just shake it and it'll come right apart. Okay, so now that you've washed out your succulent of the soil, it should look a little like this. Uh, some, some of you, if it's been really overwatered, you'll have a lot of this root system will pretty much just be mushy and will wash away with the soil. So that's kind of, you'll be able to tell if your root system is still good, if it still kind of stays together like this if uh, it's still this nice light brown color, you can tell. So this root system is definitely still good. Now uh, to look at the leaves, you can kind of see here, the leaves are, they're kind of uh, full. They're, they're a little more yellow, not so green, and they're, they're full and mushy. That's kind of a main difference between dry leaves, underwatered succulents, will have those dry, crinkly leaves, whereas overwatered succulents will have these thick, fat, overwatered leaves. So I don't know if you can see right here. Yeah, so you see how just fat and kind of mushy, it, <laughs> it looks a little like a slug to me, kind of, like a big, fat, juicy slug, you know. Um, anyways, so this is an overwatered leaf. So whenever you see these on your succulents, you know you've been giving it too much water. And if you can catch it as soon as possible when there are just a few of these leaves on your succulent, then that's great. Then just follow these steps and you'll have more chances of success with saving your succulent if you catch it in this stage where you just have a few leaves that are kind of thick and mushy like this. Step two, you want to save any parts that are still sal salvageable and get rid of any parts that have that overwater damage. So with this succulent here, there are definitely some uh, lower leaves that have that overwater damage. So I'm just going to gently peel those leaves off. So this one's actually pretty good. There isn't too much. Okay, so here we go. Okay, uh, actually this leaf probably has to go too. Okay, so if you still have your root system left on your succulent and it's not damaged, then the next thing you need to do on it is you need to sanitize it and then dry it out. So what I am going to do, I'm just going to take some hydrogen peroxide, just some regular little hydrogen peroxide. So I'm just going to pour that hydrogen peroxide 
onto my root system and uh, let it just sanitize that, kill any of that bacteria that might have gotten into my root system while it was being overwatered. So what you're going to look for is something uh, that is just lightly dry. You don't want to let it get too dry where it's like crispy or anything because then you'll have uh, damage from underwatering a little bit. So you want to just lightly dry it out, let it kind of breathe a little bit, and then you want to move on to the next step of repotting. Now, if you have more water damage to your succulent, then you might not have your root system, you might not have your stem. So I'm going to show you a little bit of how I would go about that if this was that situation. So if I didn't have my root system, then I would just have this stem, and then I would take my scissors and I would cut right along here. I'll cut right along here to get rid of any of that mushy uh, root system, okay? And then check if, if some of your stem has rotted, then remove the leaves up to that point and cut any mushy parts off of your stem. You need a nice, clean, firm stem to continue on. If the bottom of it is mushy, then it will never be able to get the root system regrown. So if, if that's the case, then you want to take leaf cuttings, okay? So leaf cuttings, you get a good leaf like this, and you just slightly pull it off. Oh, let me get a bottom one. And just kind of twist it off gently, okay? So there will be more in my post about how to propagate your leaf cuttings. But if the, the root system isn't good, if you have to cut off too much of the stem, then you want to take leaf cuttings, okay? So that's kind of where we're at, depending on where your succulent is, how much water damage there's been to it, and kind of what's, what uh, phase it is. If it's just like this, just a couple overwatered leaves that need to be removed, if the root system is bad, or if the whole stem is bad, then you will have to do those different things. Okay, so just supposing that we don't have a root system left, that some of our stem was mushy, uh, that we had more water damage with that, then let's just suppose that this is kind of what we have left, right? So we have a little succulent, we have cut off all of the mushy portions of the stem, and we have just a little bit left to work with, okay? Uh, now I think this leaf also is a little mushy, so let me take that off, okay? Now what we can do, we have a couple different options here. So one thing is I'm going to remove very carefully, just kind of twist off a few of those lower leaves here, okay? So take that one off and just carefully take that off. Okay, so now what we've got is we have the stem here with a few different points where I took those leaves off. Now you won't be able to see this very clearly. It's pretty light, light green on light green, right? <laughs> um, but so we have a couple different points here that we can get some roots coming out of. So I'm going to use these as well as I'm going to take uh, these root, these leaves here that I pulled off, and I'm going to propagate it. I'm going to propagate both. Uh, if you have both, propagate both, a stem cutting and leaf cuttings. Now, we also need to dry these out. We need to prepare them to be propagated. So the final step in this is we just want to leave it out in a cool, dry location where they can callus. That's mainly what we're looking for. Now, I'm not gonna go on this video into leaf propagation or stem propagation. Uh, for that, you can check out my blog post. I will link it below on how to propagate your succulents. But if you don't have a root system, that is the next step to go, is to take your leaf cutting or your leaf, yeah, your leaf cutting or your stem cutting and propagate them. 
and then this is the only way that you'll be able to save some sort of this succulent for the future. And then once those root out, then you'll have some nice, beautiful succulents again. On the other hand, if you do have your root system still, then you can keep it, you can repot it, and you can go ahead thinking about what you need to change in the future to avoid overwatering your plants again. So uh, some of this is, I know the one that I had, there was no drainage hole in the bottom of the pot, or there was, but a little sticker was covering it. So <laughs> there was uh, no drainage in that pot. So I'm going to repot it into a pot with drainage holes. Um, another thing that you can do is sometimes your pot is too big for your plant. So you want to make sure that there's a good root ratio to pot ratio or to soil ratio technically. So you don't want a really big pot with a really small plant or, you know, something with smaller roots. You want to have it kind of fit more snugly. That way you won't have too much soil keeping and holding on to this moisture that your roots can't get to because your roots aren't big enough. If you have too much soil in that pot with it, then it's just like a sponge. It's just going to keep that water there and then your succulent won't ever be able to use it and it'll actually harm it and cause it to be overwatered even if you don't water it that often, okay? And the next solution is to uh, have a lighter soil. So I know there's succulent and cactus soil out there. There's a lot of those different types. If you don't have some of that, I know it's uh, not too expensive, but if you don't have some of that, you can use regular potting soil, but you need to mix in some perlite or some sand. This will increase your drainage so that the water can go through and out of your pot. Because sometimes if you don't have a light enough soil, that soil, once again, will just hold on to too much moisture that your succulent just won't be able to use fast enough and it will then cause overwatering issues. Okay, and then your last thing is you can use a soil moisture meter. Now, I love these things. They are amazing. Ever since I've gotten one, I don't think I've ever overwatered any of my plants. It's been amazing. So what you do is you just stick it in the soil of your pot a few inches down, uh, more or less, depending on how big your pot is, and then you just wait for it to calibrate. So you put it in, you can kind of tell how much moisture is left in that pot, and then you want to, for succulents, you want to keep it between that uh, dry to moist section. You don't ever want to get it between the moist to wet uh, section unless you've just watered. And it can kind of help you gauge more of where where that moisture is in your pot and um, whether or not you need to water it again. And again, it'll just really help to cut down on your overwatering. So that is it. That is what I have for you today. That is how to save your overwatered succulents. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos from me. So awesome, have a great day.